Hey everyone, uh, this is uh, going to be an unboxing video of the Master Replicas Aliens Motion Tracker, um, which was a limited edition um, piece of memorabilia that was manufactured, um, I think, in the late 90s, but I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, I'm shortly going to be putting this one up for sale um, on eBay, um, which is the main reason for making this video, but I thought uh, those of you who haven't been lucky enough to own one of these might want to see uh, what's inside. Um, so this is the box. Um, mine's a little bit worse for wear on the outside, um, just because it's been kept in storage for a little while. Um, let's uh, get straight forward and open this baby up. So uh, inside, it's very well packaged, mainly covered entirely in polystyrene. Uh, we can see here the uh, MR logo on the top for Master Replicas. Just to show you that it is indeed an authentic bit of kit. There will be more of that inside. Uh, I'm just going to put the camera down for a second while I lift out this polystyrene. Uh, we've got the actual uh, display casing itself, um, which is made up of this uh, nice clear plastic. Um, and then inside that casing we've now got some more polystyrene um, and these bits of paper here. Uh, so we've got an uh, instruction guide, um, basically just giving you uh, information on installing batteries, um, just general looking after it and that kind of thing. Um, I've already installed batteries in this, because uh, I've had it for a while, um, so I won't be doing any of that. Uh, so I can go there. Uh, we've just got this customs compliance notice. Um, don't quite know what that's about. I would have thought that um, it's probably more to do with replica firearms and things like that. They're just uh, obviously a bit of a warning there just to um, allow customs people to realise it's not real. Um, and then finally we've got this last bit, the uh, Certificate of Authenticity. So we've got Aliens, Official Prop Replicas. There's that there. So if we open this up. We have this uh, Certificate of Authenticity for the Aliens Motion Tracker. Signed by uh, Scott Vogel, uh, the Chief Executive Officer there. Although I suspect that it's not his actual signature. Um, and it's just a printed one, but there you go. Um, oh, and there we go. Copyright 2004, Master Replicas Incorporated. So uh, I guess that tells me when it was manufactured. So that's the Certificate of Authenticity. So now getting on to the actual device itself, we've got the old polystyrene to lift off. And now we have the motion tracker. Um, here, let's lift this out. Let's put stuff in there. I'll uh, go through that in a moment. Lastly inside here we've got the um, sling. It goes onto the back of it. Um, although personally I always just put this um, inside the display case just resting on the uh, on the base um, just to avoid scratching the metal on the tracker itself uh, and finally here we have this limited edition number plate that just shows that mine is number 92 of uh, a limited run of 2500 pretty exclusive and then finally Underneath the, this last piece of polystyrene, which is always a bit of a bugger to get out, uh, we have the base plate, which I'll just lift out. That took longer than I expected to get that out of the box. Um, here's the base plate, um, very simple running, just give us a look at that sticker on there. Just basically tells you which way around to put the motion tracker um, on the actual base plate. So I'm just going to build this up now um, before I show you the actual features of the tracker itself. So I'll just put the tracker on. Let's get that balanced on there. And then what you typically do is put your number plate on the front there. And then, as I said, I like to put the sling on the back. So I'll just fold this up nice and neat, and then we'll just drop it round on the back. And just drape it over the back there. I don't know if you can see that. The lighting's pretty poor here. There you go, I'll just tuck that in a bit more. And then finally, all we need to do is just start the um, 
glass case to the top. Um, and there we have the completed kit. So it uh, looks the part, as we can see. And uh, now let's take a look at the actual tracker itself. Uh, okay, here we are with the tracker. Um, so if I just grab this by the uh, triggers here and just show you some of the features. Um, it's apparently a screen accurate replica. Um, we've got a keypad on the side there. Um, various vents and things like that over the top. Uh, a nice little measurement scale um, on the top here. Um, which presumably is uh, a little slide along the top. No, that doesn't slide. Um, the reason I thought that might work is because we've got this one on here, um, on top of this little monitor here, um, which is not upside down, let's just turn that around, um, which presumably is uh, in the movies anyway for controlling the sensor distance. Um, and this has a little slider on here which does slide across. Perhaps it doesn't do anything to the actual device in operation, but uh, there we go. Um, we've got a little monitor here, which at the moment is showing nothing. Um, that's pretty much it, to be honest, there's not an awful lot to it. Um, one thing you may notice, if I zoom in there, we've got some uh, sort of scuff marks on the, uh, on the plastic here, and on the bottom as well. Um, these are actually sort of part of the design. Um, and it's fine the same on the handle there, if we just go in there, there's a bit of paint missing there. Um, those are actually parts of the design, uh, presumably just to make it look more used and a bit more sort of battle worn. Um, so uh, one adds to the authenticity. Um, and then finally, just on the underside here, uh, we have the battery door uh, underneath that screw, and we have a couple of LEDs there just to show you um, when the tracker is switched on. So if I switch it on now using the trigger. So those LEDs flash to tell you that it's tracking, and we can hear that beeping sound. And here we have the monitor showing the beeping. With the alien signal getting closer to the source. It basically runs through the sequence a few times each with different patterns of aliens. Actually picks a random one each time, I think, as well. And there we go, that's uh, basically it, that's the Master Replicas Aliens Motion Tracker. Um, like I said, this one will shortly be uh, put up for sale on eBay, um, but if you do get a chance to get hold of one of these, then uh, by all means do, they're a um, fantastic bit of kit for any true Aliens fan. Um, thanks for listening.